Alright, is this thing on? We're live. Here we go. Just gonna give it a second, like every week. Let the buffer run, and then I can see the audio is good, and then I can start talking, because right now I don't know if it's working, but I know it's working. A couple minutes early, but who cares? It's, nobody's on a schedule. There we go. What is that? Like it? Okay, we're good. Tense. Let me know how the volume level is. Usually I have it too low. I've tried to crank it a little bit here, there, like that. And then, uh, yeah. So this is it. This is the end of the year, 2021. This will be the last live stream of the year. Pretty sure, unless uh, I manage to do another one. But I think it's going to be the last one. It's the last planned one, for sure. Uh, a couple of people already joined before. Trazinator and be part of this live. Yes. Are you still here? Let's see if... Uh, no, he's not here still. You can actually check. You click on participants and you can see who's live in the chat. Uh, Don Erickson, how's it going? Van Shank live. Steve, wait a minute. This isn't live. It's please stand by. It was. <laughs> Dennis, we're going live. Technical difficulties. No, just to stand by. Just uh, set things up. Gun Roar Guitar, hello. Merry Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, Hoffner Base 63. Matt Oliver, how's it going? Uh, early is better than late. It's good like that. Good morning. Just reading all the... Dan of New Jersey. New Jersey, right? Uh, Deja Voodoo. Let's go. I'm going. I'm here. Volume is good. Okay, cool. Jern just got an Epiphone ES335. Sweet. What's the pickups in that? Is it the Pro Buckers? I got a thing for hollow bodies now and semi hollow hollow <laughs> semi hollow bodies. Uh, hello, Ivan. My name's not Ivan, but uh, Lul's boring. He, yes, that is my pronoun. Um, turn it up a notch. I'm uh, almost maxed out, so there we go. And then you're gonna pick up the sounds of the fan and stuff. Who cares? Maybe that's better. Anthony and I, if that's good, let me know. If it's too booming and too loud, let me know also. I can adjust. I just have a Focusrite 2i2 interface. What I need is like a mixer so I can actually mix some stuff. Uh, Anthony from London, UK. We have a London, Ontario. It's too loud in my ears now. One sec. There we go. I was just turning down my headphones. David, David, hi, fr okay, I see it peaking now. Hi from uh, Italy, how's it going? Check, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, these Saturday live streams seem to get more people awake or around anyways. So, hi from Italy, ho, ho, ho. It's me, what's up? Uh, yellow hoodie, one hand clapping. Guitar pedals or multi-effects from Arby? Uh, neither. I don't like either. <laughs> Guitar pedal. I'm not into either. I don't know about much about... Well, actually, you know what? I have an H9, Eventide H9, which is a multi-effects. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really care too much about pedals and stuff like that. I know that sounds weird. Oh, I Van, your name is Ivan. There you go. I thought your name was Van down by a river. What's up, Doc? Just got a Player Plus HSS suite. Those look nice. I actually like, I like the uh, the chrome cover on the humbucker. It's pretty cool. Matt is good. Merry Christmas to everyone. Wasn't feeling that Eastwood guitar, mate. Not for a grand. Yeah, I'll talk about that after we get a few more people watching. I just released a video yesterday. Was it last night? Oh, you're considering swapping it for the telly? Yeah, cool. Arby's in Albania. There you go. Got a worldwide audience again. Um, peeling potatoes, carrots, and rutabaga for early Christmas dinner. There you go. Volume perfect now. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks for the feedback. No joke. It's, it's hard to... Sometimes I go back and I listen to these after, and I'm like, the volume was way too low. But then when I'm doing them, I'm like, it's way too loud. 
So if it's good now, then it's good. So yeah, I did a video. I can talk about it now. A couple minutes in. I, pr I plan to go like an hour today. Um, I ordered... I just did a video. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it after. It's an Eastwood guitar. And it's called an Airline Twin Tone. And it's uh, a guitar I wanted to try for years. A number of years. And initially, it was kind of like an up and down thing when I got it. I got it out of the package. I'm like, oh, this is sweet. And then closely, more after looking at it clo more close, more closely, um, it just kind of didn't really wasn't as great as I thought initially. So, um, and I, I made uh, a video about it, full review. Like I, I don't hide anything. I show the price, how much I paid, everything like that. And uh, all the imperfections, what I liked about it. I didn't diss the, the company or anything like that. It's like, I, I like, I still, I'd, I'd like to try another one maybe. But overall at the end, I decided, you know, what do I do with it? Fix it up, um, return it. They have a really good return policy or just sell it. And I'm opting to try to return it. I'm gonna. I submitted a return form, and I they they ask why, so I, I listed the things. And it came down to quality control, <clears throat> quality QC issues, right? Basically, um, I I'd thought of actually taking. Uh, I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just mod out the pickups, and I'll do the wiring and stuff, and I'll take these. Uh, I have some pro buckers. Oops, in this um, this Les Paul, this Epiphone Les Paul modern i was like i'll take those pickups out put them in the airline and then get some burst buckers gibson burst buckers and put them in that and i'm like why why am i going to spend more money so anyways yeah it's gonna it's gonna go, i decided to it'll go back and i'm probably gonna end up paying for the shipping to go back because that's in the policy so we'll see i'll ask i'll say would you guys cover the shipping it was worth a shot you know and uh they don't have free shipping in canada even though it's Canadian based, but they're not really in Canada. They see they ship out of the UK, and it sounds like Chicago, and I forget what country, uh, what city in the UK, maybe London or something. Um, Jaren's saying that Eastwood guitars are hit and miss. Yeah, I got a miss this time. I've been pretty lucky overall. Over all the years, all the guitars, I've only had like this year of all the um, all the guitars I got three I can think of off the top of my head this one uh, Hoffner Shorty and a vintage BS 52 that just weren't great so for the month it's usually for them like if this guitar was and I got a discount on it right so if I paid full price it would have been like close to a thousand bucks um if uh if it was like 400 500 maybe I'd think of keeping it but for the money you paid for it, it's not great. It's not a thousand dollar guitar, that's for sure. Like that Epiphone, <clears throat> excuse me. Every inspired by Gibson Epiphone I've tried this year costs around the same price, and they're flawless. They're amazing. Yeah, there you go, Matt. I think at this point, you know, you can have expectations for the fit and finish to be pretty good. Uh, smack daddy rabbit. Don't send it back. Life is short. I know life is short. That's why I have nicer guitars. I'm playing those. I just wanted to try one out that looks like a car. So, um, Dennis saying, but adding money to the Eastwood wouldn't be recoverable. Oh, I know that. I know that. But then I thought about it more and I was like, yeah, what's really, I can, I can fix up all those things. Am I going to play it more? Probably not. So that's my decision. We'll see what uh, Don send it to Phil McKnight for a sharpen my axe. I don't think he could fix the uh, the blemish in the paint. It's actually like I boxed it up already, so I, I can't show it on screen here. But it's the way to describe it is it's kind of looks like a speck of dirt got in the in the finish and it's bubbled up. And then they tried to like it looks like a swirl, like they tried to fix it. And I said in the video I did the review. I'm like, ah, this thing doesn't really bug me that much. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, it shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be the, for the for the money, right? It's all about the value. So, and uh, yeah, if you, I explain everything, if you, I'm not going to talk about too much more, but you can watch the video. It's like a close to 20 minute video. I go through everything, and I kind of change the format of the way I do the videos. I just kind of run through everything in one shot and play the guitar and everything. Looks really cool though, and that's what was kind of keeping me to thinking that I want to, I want to keep it. I'm like, I like the look of it. The neck is nice. The, fr the rosewood fretboard's really nice. Uh, cosmetically, it's like, 
I, you could probably make some kind of car analogy. I'm not a car person, but it's like a Cadillac with a, I don't know what kind of crappy engine could be inside it. It's a crappy uh, Chrysler car. K car engine with the Chrysler, or, ah, see, I can't do it. Cadillac body with the K car engine. Um, and to send it to Phil McKnight, that would cost me a ton, probably. I got to pay uh, duties, and, or not duties. Well, I don't know. It's not cheap to send stuff across the border. That's for sure. And I'm going to be sending this back to somewhere in the States. I don't know where. Yeah, for sure. QC. Some duds will slip through. I always say that I've been lucky with, I've done a lot of Squire guitars and Epiphone guitars. And uh, I always mention that. I'm like, this is one guitar out of how many did they make? Thousands probably, right? So if you get a bad one, there's the chance, right? It's going to happen. These are made by people. People always assume, there's a lot of people that assume these are made by robots. Like they're like, ah, oh, it's a CNC. So it's all, it's all robots, but there's a lot of handwork in it that I've seen from watching uh, factory videos and stuff. I've never been in a factory, so I don't know, but, uh, oh, hey, thanks. Hoffner base 63. You didn't have to do that. Thanks for videos and opinions and tips. There you go. Well, hopefully that, that video, that's the whole point. Hopefully that video helped somebody decide like before, so here's, here's my thinking when I went, went into buying that guitar, I went, I explained in the video, but I was watching, um, I was watching some videos on it recently, a couple channels and they all looked really positive. They're like, these are really good guitars. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Nobody dug into the guitar to look inside. And, uh, I did. So I didn't like it. I'm like, even Epiphone, the inspired by Gibson stuff, they're like, it's all CTS pots and like quality switches and stuff like that. And stuff like that. That's just a filler word. I don't know why I said it. Arnold Schwarzenegger says that all the time. He's like, and stuff like that. And things and all those things like that. Um, yeah, it's like the uh, the electronics inside it are on par with that vintage guitar that I, that I reviewed. Just like, it's just junk. It's junk. Feels good on the outside. And I mentioned that. I'm like, ah, this, is, this switch actually feels okay. And it's like hiding inside. But um, if you get one used, it'd be a good mod guitar. Just not full price. I don't think it's a good deal, full price. And I didn't get full price. That's the thing. I got 30% off and free shipping. So, you know. And um, that's where that's going to go. So I don't know where it's going back to. I think Chicago, maybe it came from. Uh, I, I already said I wasn't going to talk about it more, but why not? I, I don't have any plans. Um there's a lot of pros to the the whole thing though. The whole experience was good. Like when I co contacted the support asking for free shipping, they're like, "Yeah, which guitar?" And I'm like, "This one." They're like, "Okay, order it, and we'll refund the uh, the shipping." And uh, that's cool. The, the that was and it got here like in three days, so it was really fast. Um, good decision. Send it back. They need to know when things aren't right and assist you. Yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully this will help them. Like. Uh, I know they were, they used to be made in Korea. So maybe the uh, made in China ones aren't as good. I don't know. That happens, right? And, um, and I'm not, um, I didn't mention in any of my, I, I just filled out the form and said what the QC problems were. And the main things were the, uh, squealing pickup, the, uh, the bushings on the tuners are unseated. And then the blemish in the back. Uh, I can't remember if there was anything else. I think that was mainly it. And, um, I didn't say like, hey, check out my review video or anything like that. I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm just like, I'm just a guy. This is not a small, tiny YouTube channel. I'm not going to, that doesn't mean anything. It's just, here's the information. So um, hopefully it helps somebody and some, some people. Because if I'd seen, if well, I'll tell you right now, if I'd seen my video before, this makes no sense. Okay, so I'm from a, a multiverse and I'm the other Landon and I'm watching my video that I just released. I wouldn't have bought the guitar knowing that stuff, right? I think that's okay to know that stuff. Um, you know what I would be interested in trying, and I probably should have done this instead. So if you don't know, the Eastwood guitars, they're like recreations of vintage models. So the one I tried, it's, a, it's called Airline Twin Tone, and it's a recreation of a Supro Dual Tone. 
And Supro, they went out of production, I don't know when, like in the 60s or something. And then Supro, that's so it's so confusing. The names are all confusing. Supro, the new Supro that makes uh, the amps these days, they also, they're same, actually it's uh, D'Angelico or D'Angelico, however you want to say it. They own Supro. And they made these guitars again. So they actually made a Supro dual tone. And if you look over here. On the wall there, I've got a, a painting of the one that David Bowie had. Supro actually reissued them. They were about 1300 bucks. If you go on Supro's website, it says they're redesigning their, their guitar line right now. So maybe I'll check out a Supro, like a real one. And uh, because, well, actually, that's kind of funny. If, if you didn't notice, I had the D'Angelico sitting right beside it. Same company. That thing is flawless. And that's, that'd be about 1000 bucks Canadian, D'Angelico. Flawless, and that's a made in Indonesia. Super amazing guitar. These uh, paranormal Eastwood guitars have always been overpriced for what they are, in my opinion. Certainly, how they're priced in the UK. Um, yeah, you know what? I looked on the website, and in my video, I was like, I can only see the Canadian prices. I realized at the end, when you scroll down to the bottom of their website, you can choose the uh, the country uh, currency. <clears throat> Big problem is uh, they don't fit their repro guitar models with vintage correct design pickups. For me, that defeats the purpose. Hoffner, do your kids does your kids play music? Yeah, my oldest. Um, yeah, my oldest. He's 15. He does like uh, he's got a PC and he has. Um, if you ever heard of FL Studio, he makes music with that and he has a guitar and yeah, he does really cool stuff. He's got a keyboard and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, he's not into uh, so much guitar and singing like I am, but he does the other stuff, which is really cool. Switching pots on the Eastwood guitar. They're the lowest of the low, for sure. Yeah. That's the stuff you see on like a Bullet Squire. Uh, Admiral Tank, what do you think of the monoprice stage right tube amps? Super cheap on Amazon. Um if you, if you go way back in my channel, like 2016, I tried a bunch of monoprice stuff, but it's not the same company that makes that stuff. It was, uh, what was it called? I did a five watt tube amp that they had and I thought it was okay. It was kind of like, uh, I don't know if it's like a Fender Champ, I think. It had just like a volume and a tone, no reverb or anything like that. So the stage right stuff, I've never tried. I can't really say. I know that from what I've seen online, the monoprice stage right, Amps, they're the same build as the stuff that Harley Benton sells. It's the same same manufacturer, and they just stamp or they put their uh, logo on it. So, um, so I don't really have an opinion yet. JH Scott, did you sell a casino yet? No, I love that thing. I love that guitar. It's uh, well, you can see my Christmas tree there. Oh, it's on the stand, sitting down. I play it every day. That guitar, I don't care what people say about it. A lot of people said they hate the casino and the whatever it's like having an acoustic guitar with the option to flip it to electric when you want to sometimes i just play it in the room i really like the the feeling of the neck and i'm not one to play up high in the fret so that never bugged me so yeah that's a great guitar for me again i said it's not for everybody and uh, it squeals and that's a that's a different issue it's a it's a hollow body so uh, Google Dog depends on who makes them in China and the QC control. Oh, chat just jumped. Where was, where was that? Uh, Gretsch made in China guitars have proven very good. Not all China manufacturers will be equal. All the Epiphone inspired by Gibson is made in China that I've tried and they're amazing. They're really, really good. So yeah, it does. It, it all depends. Um, picture looks like super dual tone the guitar Bowie had. Yep, that's the whole thing. Watch my video. That's I, I mentioned all that the inspiration so uh Corey's garden all three guitars i have had on my eye had my eye on seem to be totally out of stock gonna be sitting on a lot of dry powder for a while uh what which guitars van shank has a 15 watt model of the model price sounds great uh jern has the sunburst casino cool 
Do you prefer the casino over the D'Angelico? Um, no, they're totally different. Like, I mean, they're both, they're very different guitars. So I don't prefer one over. The D'Angelico is more like a rock guitar. Like the humbuckers are amazing in that guitar. It's smaller. It's a semi-hollow. So you can get different kinds of sounds from it. The neck is a different feeling. The Casino is more, I think of it more as a, an acoustic guitar, which I love. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, Paul. Random question. Is the Telecaster the best guitar ever? Um, what does best mean? I'm asking a question on a question. Yes. It is. I don't know. This is one of those uh, questions you can't really answer. Um, what else did I have in my... Uh, oh, I wrote in my uh, title, Best Gear of the Year. So... Um, let me know in the comments there or in the chat, the best gear that you've tried, or if you're watching this after on the replay, let me know what best, the best gear that you've tried this year. For me, uh, I made a video about, uh, my favorite things this year. I think the biggest surprise was the D'Angelico. I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to say that's the top thing because I didn't have any expectations. I didn't even know the brand. And that was a sponsored video by Sweetwater. They, they were like, you want to demo one of these? They gave me the option of that one or a PRS, PRS2. I can't remember the name of the guitar. It was like a hollow body. And I'm like, I, I did a few PRS already this year. So I'll try something brand new that I, I don't know anything about. Yeah. Gonza, yesterday I, buy a, I bought a Telecaster. Nice. Uh, what kind of Telecaster did you buy? That's cool. Uh, they have a brand called Juke Tone. I think they're the same amps as Mono Price, probably. I'm sure. Um, um, oh, you know another brand that, was, that just made me think of Donner. They sell like Strat and uh, Strat and Tele clones. There's a Harley Benton model. It's exactly the same as Donner. It's the same guitar. Gloif, Gloif T. If I'm saying your name wrong, sorry. What What's caught your eye for 2022? Um, I'm curious what uh, what um, what Supro is going to release for guitars. I'm interested in that, so I don't know yet. Bob Bob Sacamano is that a that sounds like a Seinfeld reference? Best gear, good day, Stadium HT, cool. That's an awesome guitar too. I don't have it anymore. I sold mine. I sold that and the PRS to get this SG. Um, the good day that was like almost a year ago. That was last January, I think. That was that was a highlight too. It, it was. Uh, um, I'd heard good things about that company though, so it wasn't a huge surprise that it was good because I'd heard good things. The Angelico, I'd heard nothing, nothing about them. Like here, I'll show it here. And this is uh, I like. I like weird. Like look at that. It's like an Art Deco. I mean, the headstock's probably not for everybody, but the fit and finish on this thing is freaking amazing. It's effing amazing. I just said the F word. But it's really nice. It's light. Locking tuners. Yeah. One sec. I'm just going to open my window. It's warm in here. The computer's pumping out the heat. The heat is on. It's actually cold here today, though. We're, uh... Okay, I wasn't looking at the chat. Sorry. Uh... Paul Vintera 70s Deluxe Tele. Cool. Awesome. Those are cool. Uh, Dougal Dog. Best surprise was the Aria Pro 2 Nashville Tele. I don't know what that is. Not a brand I'd thought about for decades. Aria Pro 2. Is that the brand? Let me see. I've never heard of that. Let me Google it. Aria Pro 2. Oh. AriaGuitarsGlobal.com. Okay. Cool. I didn't. Nice. I'll check them out after. I don't know anything about them.
Brian, what do you think about, <clears throat> excuse me, Squire Classic 560s telling you with the single, with the single pick. Oh, the Esquire. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. That might be a Longman Quaid exclusive in Canada anyways, because I think they had a blue one and maybe a, a black one and a Sunburst. Yeah, they look pretty nice. Seinfeld, there you go. Babs, Bob Sacamano. I know my Seinfeld references. I, I didn't know if somebody might have a real name, right? Um, Admiral Tamalak. Best gear I tried this year was a Vox, Mis a Vox Mystic Edge pedal. You know, I've never tried a Vox pedal. I don't even know. I don't know much about them. Oh, uh, Offner, after the live chat, my son and I are recording a cover of I Want to Tell You. Cool. Was that on Rubber Soul? I can't remember. I know. I feel like. That, oh no, that was on Revolver. Okay, I get those mixed up. I know the song. Deanna got a D'Angelico Premier Bedford. I absolutely love it. Yeah, they're awesome. I don't know what that model is. Let me look it up. Oh, that's cool. Kind of looks like. Uh, uh, it's more like a offset. Same headstock, right? I might, if I do check out another one next year. Oh, cool. That's really cool. It's got the binding. Single coil and then a humbucker. Nice. Hey, they have their own style, right? They're not uh, just trying to copy somebody. Whoops. Why am I watching that? Uh, okay. Renee. Oh, you're talking to him. Best gear I tried this year. Epiphone Casino, but I'm being a little biased because I because it's my baby. That's from Yearn or Jern. Probably Yearn, right? Corey, one Godin, Fifth Avenue P90s, two Jimmy Vaughn Strat, and a Thorgood hollow body because it has P90s. There you go. P90s are cool. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. The casino has P90s. It's a really different sound for sure. Gloyfity, Supra Blues King amps have a certain have certainly caught my eye. Yeah, I'd like to try a Supra amp. That'd be cool. Maybe the new year. I'll see if um, Sweetwater can do something. They they definitely like the uh, Supro and the D'Angelico stuff. And Reverend's another brand I want to try. Um, oh, there we go. Don's got the Donner Thinline Telly Deluxe. Two humbuckers. Sounds great. Has a quality build. Yeah, they the two that I had were w built really well. The next, I was impressed by the satin finish on the neck. I can't remember the electronics, how they were. I think they were okay. Paul, EHX, EXH, that's a different brand. EHX, Pulsar, Tremolo. Uh, Eric, what's up? Chatted with you this morning about the Supro Guitars plastic feel uh, input jack. A lot of cool features. Oh, okay. Was that in the comments? Um, I meant, maybe, I think I remember. What I was talking about was... The input jack, sorry, the output jack, who cares, whatever you call it, on the uh, the twin tone, it's in the pick guard. So when you put it in, you kind of feel the plastic move a little bit. And that's what I meant felt feels weird versus having an output jack mounted in the wood on the guitar. So it kind of feels a little flimsy, but maybe it's also the output jack. Telecasters for the win. The best gear I got, Steve, uh, is Wild Custom Guitars, Firewild. Wild Custom Guitars. I think I recognize that name. I don't know why. Andrew Galloway. Shenanigans. Is that the name of the brand? Um, there you go. Yeti. Area Pro has been around for 30 plus years. So have I. Nobody's heard of me. <laughs> um, Dan. Best gear. Archer Klon. Is it Icon or Klon? No, that's Icon. And Princeton 12-inch. There you go. Which Princeton did you get? Uh, Doodle Dog. D'Angelico's original guitars were amazing works of art. Looks like they carried forward some of the style and quality. Yeah, I looked up the whole history and I talked about it in my video. Joshua. Bro, get a vintage telly. 
Um, like vintage, the brand, or vintage being old, old stock, old, uh, old model. Um, if I did look at a, a guitar, a vintage Telly, I'd try to get something. I'd try to get um, a birth year, and I'm born in 1979, so that's what I'd be looking at. But uh, I haven't really, I don't know, not really, uh, not really gassing for anything like that. Uh, James, top of the morning. He's talking to somebody else, not me. Andrew, any thoughts on Guild Guitars? That's another brand. I think I have a feeling. Is it that brand? Guitarist in my band, I think, had a Guild. Or my friend has a Guild. I can't remember. But no, I've never tried them, though, that I can think of, that I remember. Uh, any thoughts? Oh, yeah. Joe, Any ever played a vintage Gretsch? I've never played a Gretsch, period. So, no. Paul best uh, Paul's best amp at twenty one PV sixty five oh five mini. Matt's seen the headstock that looks like the bad guy out of Toy Story. It is Zerg on the uh, Angelico. John, have you ever tried to wax pot a pickup yourself? No, I haven't. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm sending the the Eastwood back. Yeah, I've decided that. Uh, I've I've filled out the form. And uh, made the the, the blah, 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 blah. made the decision. I mulled over it for a couple of days. I'm like, ah, that's okay. I'll keep it. And then I was like, why? I don't want to spend more time on this. It looks really cool. And it fl flip flop back and forth. I'm a flip flopper. Ah, uh, let's hope for some genuine Boxing Day deals this year. I don't know if that even exists anymore. Does that even matter anymore? Because we got Black Friday in Canada, so does Boxing Day even happen? I don't know. Stolen Breaker Studio, peace or hands a high five? I can't sure. Um, Eric in the comments. Okay, so I think I think I remember commenting about that. Everybody, everybody, rock on! Have a great weekend. I'm off. Go take care, Hoffner Base. Thanks so much for the super chat. That's amazing. Have fun recording with your son. It's cool. Uh, Reverend PA1 Hollow Body is a really nice guitar. Cool. That's a brand I'd like to check out this year. Next year, I mean. Um, Fender TC90 Double Cut Tele P90. So that sounds cool. Uh, dual Dog. Yeah, the input jack on the P bases is mounted to the pick card. Yeah, I have one. I have a well, I have a jazz bass, a Squire jazz bass, but that feels different because it's metal, so you don't notice it. it it's not like wobbly at all. Tom. Hey, Landon, what did you think of the Eastwood? Oh, I made a whole video about it, and I just talked about it for like how long have we been on here? For I've talked about it for about twenty minutes. So, uh, I'm not gonna really talk about it anymore today. Um, best gear purchase was the Godet Stadium HT. Nice. Telly, uh, Trans White. Yeah, I love the look of that one. That's the one I originally wanted. Uh, David, I was definitely disappointed with the electronics when you opened up the airline. Tell me about it. <laughs> so was I. I. I don't, and then I said, I'm like, did I really expect it to not be that though? For real. Like, uh, Amanta. It's a cool name. Hey, buddy, big fan of you. Keep it up. Thanks. I'm a big fan of me too. I'm just kidding. Uh, James Moffat, 2020 Square Classic Vibe, 60s Thin Line, cool. Supro 1812 Blues King 12 Amp. Uh, there you go. Supro looks like cool. Uh, they look cool. Supro looks cool. I definitely like to check check out the Supros. Something Supro. Maybe the Bowie. They had a Bowie signature. That's what I was gonna mention before. They had a Bowie signature. Supro. Uh, dual tone last year or maybe two years ago should have got it should have just got it but uh, we'll see Matt's got to go happy uh, Merry Christmas Happy New Year thanks tuning in next year for sure yeah I have one video scheduled still for this year it's pre-scheduled I think it's the 27th so a couple days after Christmas it's actually I'll give a it's a demo of the Mustang Micro there you go. Preview. Uh, most hilarious dad joke guitar YouTuber 2021, Landon Bailey. I won the award. 
we're going. Oh man, some of the I don't it's easy not it's easy to say ignore the the uh the negative comments, but there's some people that don't get it, right? They're just like they come on and they're like, just play the guitar and they're angry. They're like, I don't I don't care. That's the words. That's what it means to me. And they're like, just get to it. I'm like, and then usually my response is use the timestamps. Can you read? There's timestamps. You want to see how it sounds? Except in my latest video, the airline, I didn't do timestamps because uh, I didn't feel like it. But in general, there's my rant. Princeton Reverb with uh, Jensen speaker 12, 12 watt. Um, yeah, mine's, these Princetons that I have, they're 15. 15 watt. It says right on the back. Tobias, what kind of Eastwood guitar you like the most? Well, I thought it was going to be the one that I bought, but... So I haven't tried any other ones. There was this other one that they used to make. It was like a, a special run. I can't remember the name of it. It's a guy. It's a guy's name. And it looked like a, like a sci-fi kind of guitar. But I, I want to try one of those, but I probably won't now. I don't know. Uh, Tom, on the Fender website, where are Deluxe Reverbs amps under? Where are they? Not sure. Not sure what the question is. Tom, did you not like the Eastwood? Yes, I did not like the Eastwood. I was on the fence, and then I decided I'm going to send it back. Love the video. Manuel, love the video building Telecaster. Cool, thanks. I've done a few. Yeah. Um, I did the most recent telly. I like, to, I like talking about what I do behind the scenes. The most recent telly that I did was a build for, I did it for Sweetwater. They provide all the stuff. And I sold that one on the used market. I got 700 bucks and I took that 700 bucks and I bought the Eastwood. And now I'm sending the Eastwood back. So I'll have uh, 700 bucks back or maybe I'll be in the hole. I don't know yet. Maybe I'll be digging a hole. Ever heard of Burns of London guitars? No, I never heard of them. Ah, what's going on here? We got... Uh, there we go. Uh, got some spammer. I'm just trying to... Hey, John, how's it going? You're up. Europe. No, Australia. European? No, I'm on the toilet. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I just got distracted. There was like this spammer. I got to block him. Hold on here. Uh, Prince Almighty. Okay, let's let's just get you out of here. Did that work? I block this guy. They don't make it easy to. Uh, he's in a timeout. Sure. Wow, what a jerk. I don't know if you guys see those messages. The guy said, uh, oh, I don't even know what he's saying. It's not even English. Like, I mean, it's, it looks like a bot. I'm not going to say what he said because it's really rude. Um, David, I've heard Eastwood is responsive to customer service or questions. They are. When I when I emailed them saying, uh, hey, I was about to buy the guitar and then shipping was going to be $103. Like, what is that? And uh, they replied right back, right away. Uh, Tom, I will watch the video. I just joined. Okay, cool. <laughs> what? Tune in. If you want to prove to us you're not a ghost, then stand up and perform. Then stand up and perform a Cindy Lauper song. I I'd have to rehearse that. So, girls just want to have lunch. Weird Al. Um. James just got a supersonic sixty. Those sound cool. Look cool too. Nice. Greco super strat. Uh, Andrew, very interested in Sire guitars. Looks like great build quality for the money. Yeah, I keep hearing people talking about them. And I'm going to be honest, when people tell me to, to go check something out a lot, not necessarily on the YouTube stuff, but people are like, you got to watch this show and you gotta, you're going to love this movie. That kind of pushes me away from it. I'm like, no, I don't want to be told. Don't tell me what I'm going to like. I don't, And I like underdog stories. And I like, you know, stuff like that. So, um. So maybe, but uh, yeah, n not really interested in checking them out, but Tom, I'm not going to lie, because usually you lie. This is usually a lie. You have been my favorite YouTube channel discovery of 2021. 
Love all your deep dive and parts cast videos. Alert collection updates. Oh, thanks. It's cool. You will get tired of me. Trust me. It happens. It happens, right? You, you find a channel. You're like, this is the best thing ever. And then you're like, this is this is all he does. It's the same stupid stuff. I'm I'm unsubscribing. I'm done. Get out. I'm done. I'm just going to throw my computer away now. I don't even use a computer. I have a phone. I'm throwing my phone away. Unsubscribe. But no, thanks. <laughs> I twisted that, right? Um, speaking of twists, has anybody ever heard of a, an animated series called Invincible? It's on Amazon Prime. Totally off topic. Looking forward to the Mustang Mini review. Seems like a must purchase. It's uh, So Dave, it's not a review. Um, I'll just say I love it. The thing's really good. It's a demo on how, how I use it to record a song really quickly. It's like a digital interface to my computer. I think... Uh, yeah, it's not it's not really a demo. I'm and I mentioned that. I'm like there's a million demos out there already cuz everybody got one of those when it was released. So, I bought mine. Uh sold all my mini amps and I bought that one. And that's going to be my go-to when I travel and uh yeah, if traveling ever happens again. Um John, what is your preference, top hat or barrel knobs? Uh barrel knobs. Yeah, I have both. Um oh just uh, where'd it go? Just jumped. Try a gretch. Dan Princeton's definitely twelve watt. I think that's norm. Oh, it says twelve on the back. Yeah, I'd go by what it says on the back. Boris Boya, Baba Bui. Greetings from sunny Arizona, Rico. You guys central? No, you guys are Pacific time, right? In Arizona, Arizona. Dougal Dog. Some companies are now putting. Good electronics and their affordable stuff. Some squares and Epis. Oh, totally. The Epis are definitely full size pots, good pickups. Most people won't want to have to upgrade stuff. Yeah, I agree. They're going to have to upgrade their uh, maybe. Oh, hey, Don. Here you go. Hi, Lana. I recently bought a Fender Player Strat and I had them pleck it. It really makes playing more enjoyable. I think a good guitar tech could have done as good a job. What is your opinion on plecking? You know what? I looked it up and I looked up what is plecking. It's that machine and, uh, I didn't really get it. I, I was kind of like, yeah, couldn't a guy just do this? Um, but it's like all computer, right? And I can't remember, does it does it actually do a fret job? And then I couldn't really understand what else it does other than a fret job. But thanks for the super chat, as always. Yeah. Okay, there's another guy saying the same thing. I'm going to have to block this guy. Hey, we're getting popular here, I guess. Hey, hide this user. The guy is saying, I'm not going to say, well, Canada 45, eh? The guy is saying, death to a certain country and butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. Lobster something crap. I don't know what he's saying. Sorry, Don. Um, yeah. I don't really get it. The pleck thing. I'm, I, I don't really. What the pleck are they doing? I don't know. I don't know. John, go to bed. Turn off your phone. Oh, 18 hour drive. Oh, my God. Turn off your phone now. <laughs> this is from last week. If anybody was tuned in last week, John uh, accidentally was um, deleting messages because he fell asleep. I thought it was funny. The John, that's John ZD, one of the one of the mods here. So he was he was working from Slumberland, and he's like, "You can't talk about something nice about guitars." Delete. <laughs> I was so confused. I thought it was funny though. Uh, Andertons have a stake in Burns guitars and a new range is due apparently. Funky stuff. Uh, I heard the name. I didn't check them out yet. Seriously, contact Eastwood customer service. Like other brands, their high-end guitars are legitima legitimately well-built. Especially the Korean-built versions. Yeah, that, I, this one was the cheaper one, right? It's like 700 bucks. There's some that are like two grand. So um, I did contact them. I filled out the form, the return form, and said what was wrong. So I'm hoping to hear back. I don't expect to hear back till Monday. And then uh, it's like Christmas week coming up. So odds are I probably won't get it sent back till after Christmas. But we'll see. I hate the YouTube bots. Yeah. Boris, they're horrible. Um, they show up on giveaways. Uh, Brian. Thanks for tall. <laughs> I know what you're saying. 
for all of. Yeah, for the great videos, no problem. Oh, Joshua. Love Invincible. What a crazy show, right? Andrew Galloway. Are you in Ottawa? I am. I'm in Ottawa. Yeah. Uh, Steve, have you played any guitars with TV Jones pickups? No, I haven't. I gotta look that up. Is that what's in um is that what's in a Gretsch? Like, is the TV Jones the same as a Filtertron? Is that the same thing? Those are funky looking, right? Oh, it's a brand name. Okay. I thought it was like a style. It looks like 50s stuff. Oh, those are cool looking. I'm guessing it's like a small company, maybe? Uh, American and it's saying, hey, you're in Canada. You're in... Pee and poop jokes just... They don't work. Did you keep, keep the Epic Casino? Oh, yeah. I love it. It's uh, sitting right there, other way, sitting on the floor there. I'm going to bump the mic. It's just on the stand there. I was saying earlier, it's it's like having an acoustic guitar, and then if you want to plug it in, it's like a, an electric guitar that's very versatile for me anyways, and I always say that, right? It's like, am I really red? I don't know what's going on here. Um, just looked at, uh, this is a Christmas shirt. Nobody noticed because it's kind of hidden. See at the bottom there? It's got reindeers, and uh, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It's an Atari Christmas shirt. Um, Smack Daddy, are you talking about uh, Mustang 1 V2? No. I wasn't. I was talking about the micro. Mustang micro. Jern's got a head out. Or Yern. Sorry if I sang your name wrong. Sometimes you pronounce the J. Sometimes you don't. Like uh, there's a James Moffat, but I'm pretty sure it's James Moffat. His Epiphone Les Paul Special TV Yellow P90s. The new Vox Cambridge 50. Uh, probably talking about favorite stuff this year, right? Those are nice guitars. The Les Paul. I had it. I had one last year. I did a giveaway for it. I did a few giveaways last year, especially when the COVID was really bad because I didn't want to sell stuff and have people come to the house. So I was like, I'll give these away. And uh, there you go. There you, there you go. I don't know why I say that. It's filler. It's like instead of saying, um... Hello. How many thumbs up? We got 31 thumbs up. Let's get 8,000 thumbs up. Um, Eric, hello. Clap. Landon, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks. David, Mustang seems like a great traveling companion. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's really, re really well thought out. Build quality is good. I've had a number of these little mini headphone amps like from Vox I had two or two or three of them this one just like blows it away because of the function the the stuff you can do with it the fact you can plug it into a computer and use it as a DAW like a digital or you can use it as an interface uh and it's really good John's gonna block Landon block Brandon because that's people keep saying Brandon for my name and guess what guys I get the reference I don't care about politics don't don't talk about that stuff I don't care there's a whole I don't even want to get into it. Let's just say don't do that joke anymore. It's lame. The whole uh, American politics. I get it. I get it. I'm not stupid. <laughs> if that just offended you, then go away. Um, I'm sure a number of people know what I'm talking about. Why are all the guitars behind you blue? Because they're very sad. Oh, I keep turning the wrong way. Yeah, that's my blue collection. They're all blue. That's the thing. Not by chance. Uh, plecking a piece of wood that has expansion. Frets don't need to be that perfect. It's a bit OCD. That's from Boris. What the pleck? Big ups. From New York City, pizza sucks. Where's the best pizza? People say Chicago or New York, right? That's the two. Uh, oh, there we go. Done. It levels the frets, recrowns them, and they smooth out the high fret ends. Eliminates high fret. So it is just frets, right? That's what a plaque is? Okay. I thought it was more than that. I'm like, what else can it do? It's a computer. Hey, kid. Uh, you're in Ottawa. I am. It's like this this, this effect. Plug in your guitar and it's auto. Gretches have Filtertrons and TV Jones. Okay, cool. That's why I got that connection. Auto. -wa. You're in trouble now. European. Uh, that shirt pongs. TV Jones makes the best Filtertrons. They make... Okay, is Filtertron a type of pickup? Like it's not a single coil or not a humbucker? I don't I don't really know. 
Never looked into it. Uh, J.R. Baker, cool channel. It's refreshing to see someone that doesn't pretend to know everything. Thanks. I, I pretend to know nothing. Actually, no, I, I don't pretend. I just don't pretend. I'm just, I'm just it. This is me. This is me. There's no fake. Fake can fake off. <laughs> I was saying that with an Irish accent. Fake off. Fake off. Uh, Tobias, do you agree that fa a cheaper... Cheaper Fender guitars have gotten better and better. Yeah, I do, for sure. Totally. Um, Gary, cl uh, Classic Vibe Strat or Epiphone ES339 as a beginner guitar for my son's Christmas present. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, because the, Epi the ES339 is going to be humbuckers, right? So it depends. I'd say it depends on what type of music you think your son would like to try to copy maybe. Strat is single coil and it's going to be a bit more thin. Uh, either one, but, uh, and the, the Strat might be smaller. Depends how old, how old your son is and how big he is, you know. Uh, Steven, you've been very generous with the giveaways. That's it. No more. I'm all done. No, I tried to, you know, like you, you do the giveaways, you hope it grows the channel, gets attention and stuff like that. And then, um, to a point it's they're fun they're also stressful to send the stuff away because you're like i gotta mail this out now and i hope it doesn't break and get lost and deal with the shipping and stuff like that especially sending to other countries you got to deal with the uh customs and duty forms it's not my favorite thing to do i'll be totally honest it's uh i don't really love doing them um haven't done as many recently if there was an easier way like sweetwater did a couple and they took care of that part but it was only available to the u.s so that helped but uh, I just don't like all that that shipping stuff. I really hate shipping things. Like the fact I'm going to ship this Eastwood guitar back, and that, that that stresses me out. Not like stress, but it's it's a pain in the butt to go ship something, especially a guitar. It's not like shipping a letter, right? Uh, Revstar, yeah, I want to check one of those out. Yamaha, that's on my list. I've got a short list of. Uh, it's been like a list this year. I managed to go through a few, a few of them, but G and L. Reverend, Yamaha, something from Yamaha. Uh, what else? Um, maybe Supro, if they get new guitars this year. Next year, I mean. Yeah, Boris, there you go. Two different guitars for sure. Strat, super reliable. Um, Windell just bought the Mustang for amp head for 120 bucks. Okay, I don't know that one. I might have seen it before. We're not talking about the micro. We're talking about the actual big head. John, been playing a new Harley Benton telly for two weeks. Plastic nut is cut really well. No issues. Cool. But it is plastic. Wondering if I swap it out for a graph deck. Should I bother? Only if you have issues, I think. I don't. I wouldn't change it out if you didn't have issues. And usually the issue, if the if the cut is good, then it's probably fine. If it's not binding, meaning like you, do you hear the string go ping when you're tuning it, then the, the slots are good size. Uh... Probably not saying your, your name right. Ba Bascar, how about a comparison video between the Vox Pathfinder 2 and the Vox New Tube amps? Um, well, I don't have any of those anymore. Those were videos from years ago. I had a Pathfinder 10 and uh, the Vox New Tube stuff. I've done enough of that. Yeah, so probably not. Eric has a Parallel Universe Uptown Strat. Let me see what that one looks like. That sounds cool. Oh, okay. There's a used one on reverb. Oh, look at that. It almost looks kind of like it's got the edges of a telly. Humbuckers. Wow, that is really different. 3,000 Canadian. That's not a cheap guitar. Cool. Probably a limited run. Um, oh, the chat just jumped. That's pizzas in Melbourne. Do they put kangaroo meat on it? Not a joke. They sell kangaroo meat. Not even kidding. Can't. I was at the grocery store a couple of years ago. I'm in Canada, and this isn't. This is like imported stuff. I don't know why. There was camel meat and uh, kangaroo meat. So, and the king. I'm pretty sure it's horrible, but I'm pretty sure the they had cartoon characters on the on the labels, because you know makes it taste better. Uh, yeah, 
Well, that is a good point. Dougal, I'd rather, I'd hate to have people coming to the house to buy stuff these days. Too many Fruit Loops about, I'd, I'd even rather just sell to a shop and take the hit. That's pretty much where I've gone this past year. Um, I've sold a few things locally, but, uh, oh, if you guys are interested, I have a guitar up for sale. I'll post it in the link here. If you're in Canada, cause I don't think, I don't know if they ship out of Canada. Let me bring it up here. So yeah, I've, uh, I've traded in stuff to Long and McQuaid, which is basically selling it. You take a hit, you take a big hit. You take a big hit of that bong. Okay, so this is a guitar I have up for sale. It's been up for sale for about four months, but if anybody's interested, I'll put it in the chat there. Did that work? Let's see if that uh, link came up. Yeah. Is that link going to work? Hopefully. Um, Telly, Telly Deluxe 2016. Uh, that's pizza. Any pizza. No. <laughs> Not any pizza. There's some crap. There's some crap. Uh, see y'all in 2022. Lone Wolf. Take care. It's like best, right? It's the, be the best guitar, the best anything. There's no best. I would get Strat. There you go. Some people are... I, I'm seeing votes for the Strat. John, pizza is like sex. Even if it's bad, it's still pretty good. You eat sex? Um, any pizza can be personal pizza if you believe in yourself. Uh, Plex machine is quite simply a tool. Its primary function is fret work, fret leveling, crowning. Yeah, okay. It does planing and okay. So yeah, it's fret work, right? So it's a plek and why do they just call it a? Why do they call it a plek? It's a weird word. Greetings from Northern California. Hey, do you guys get snow in the mountains? Not a joke, right? I'm guessing uh, that's a thing. Um, it's a diagnostic tool. There you go. It can help diagnose problems. Like if your guitar is ill and it has like, it, it helps the guitar learn things. I'm just, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, Strat it is. There you go. There you go, Gary. Can't go wrong with either, but I mean, the Strat's more universal, probably better known, probably more popular, and uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, Steve, OG, zero grams. Got an 07 Strat, an 08 Tele, American Standard. Are you saying worth upgrading? I can only play guitar, only play guitar at a time. I know new guitar won't make me play better. Uh, not really sure what you're asking. Are you saying upgrading your guitars? I wouldn't, uh, that probably don't need to upgrade those. No. I play six guitars at a time. A freck. Fleck. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Uh, Filtertron is a brand humbucking pickup. Okay. There we go. I just learned something. Uh... Oh, Will, after seeing the Fender Mustang Micro and being fond of it, what are your chances you would review anything else from the Mustang line? Uh, probably probably won't be, no. That that, su that serves a, a purpose. Like, that's a good tool. Um, these other Mustang mini amps, I don't really have any, int any interest in them. Gary from North Wales, how's it going? North Wales. Whenever I see Wales, I always think of, uh, I always think of Badfinger. Pete Ham. Just notice you can't see my mouth. So I can totally dub the audio after and you won't even know what I'm saying. Could totally change it all. Fix it. Fix all the mistakes. Sweet. Uh, look up Guild Jetstar. If you, if you enjoy odd looking guitars, chances are I've seen all these guitars because I have a book called 2000 Guitars. And I'm pretty sure it has more than 2000 guitars in it. Well, that's not too odd looking. Guild Jetstar. Hold on. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. The bottom's cut off. It's like they chopped off the butt. There you go. We've been going. We've been going an hour. I said I was going to go an hour. We've got more people. I'll go for a little bit more. I always lie, right? 
Kangaroo, kangaroo meat is quite good, actually. I heard it, I heard it gives you a, a good uh, hop. I don't know. Sorry. Just lost 80 people. Look at that. It gives you a good... I'm not even... Gonna <laughs> just stop. Um, oh, kangaroo meat is mainly sold for pet food in Australia. John, you're eating dog food again? There you go. Um, um, it's kind of gamey, but I liked it when I tried it. Uh, I'm struggling to not answer that question. Um, I don't, I don't like moose meat. Moose meat's a thing here in Canada and deer meat. I, I've tried deer, ven I've tried, or the, sorry, the venison, I guess. Not really. And I don't know if it's just in my head. Um, I don't know. Probably. Plek also includes the nut slots. There you go. Oh, snow. Yes. Weird, right? You wouldn't think. I just remember hearing that years ago. I'm like, they got snow in California. I'm like, what? Why? But it's like, it's like the east, uh, west coast here in Canada, like BC. Tons of snow. They get, they don't get the heat the same way. Well, actually, yeah, this year they did, but it's horrible. But uh, they got snowy mountains, right? So, it's, uh, it's in, so sure, sure. Um, a guy from Cheap Trick played a lot of guitars at the time. He did. He was that guy from Cheap Trick that did that. I have, this is Strings 53. I have the Jeff Beck Strat and Experience or Thoughts. No, um, it's supposed to be really good. Who was it? There was a channel that said it's like the best Strat you can get that's not a custom shop. Was it Phil McKnight talking about that? I can't remember. John, have you tried out Guitar Fetish's Quick Plug? Oh, no, I haven't. I, I know of it. I remember seeing it years ago, but I haven't. Steven, have your guitar quality standards gotten higher? Um, I'd say my neck standards, like what I consider a good neck has. But uh, I, I don't think... I, th I don't think my standards have gotten higher. I think other brands have gotten higher. So if the other, like I was saying, the Epiphone stuff is just like really good. Really good. Um, a lot of the Squire stuff is really good too. And then I get a guitar like the Eastwood, which is more expensive than those Squires and Epiphones or the same price. And the stuff inside is just not, it, it's usable and works, but it's just not the same level, right? So it's kind of, it kind of got, brought up by other companies um marky the sharky have you played the gibson inspired epiphone les paul jr yeah i had one last year uh it was really good i did a i did an unboxing video and then i did a review video and i gave that one away last uh i actually i think i gave it away this year i did a giveaway for it really cool really liked it boris the german what time is it in canada it's uh varies depend we're like we're as wide as the US right we go coast to coast so it's uh here for me it's 12 p.m. so it's lunchtime but on the west coast to be uh 9 a.m. and then uh, eastern time like in Newfoundland and Labrador I think they're an hour and a half difference so it'd be like 1:30 and then there's also central ah, who cares <laughs> I'm not I'm not teaching geology and geometry and uh whatever other tautologies this is Scientology. Okay. Um, uh, Hayes Gaming. Bro, please explain how mode can be switched, not sounding like exercise. Don't know anything what of that means to be words. Not sure what you're saying. I have not had bear meat from your... Um, John... Though I enjoyed kangaroo meat, one drumstick was enough. Are they big like the drumsticks like at Disney World where it's this giant leg? I don't know why. This is the symbol for leg. Uh, I love deer meat. It's dear to you. Plenty of meat is dear here. Oh, Eric, what are your thoughts on Road War and Telecasters? Uh, I didn't do a review, but I did... I had a post once and I deleted it because I, I don't leave up my community posts. I, I leave them up for a while and then I delete them because they're just like garbage after a while. Um, and my review was, I think the necks are really nice. I used one in a build. 
It was a Telecaster Deluxe neck. I like the, the road-worn necks. I think the bodies look cheese. They just look like, they don't look nice. I, I, I get what they were trying to do. And um, they're just not, they don't look like a real relic guitar the same way the custom shops do. The custom shops look real. Like you couldn't tell the difference. If you had a custom shop and then you had a vintage guitar, I don't think you could tell the difference. So that's my review. So neck, cool, body, stool. <laughs> Where does he come up with this garbage? Carlos, hey, y'all. Doing the accent. Um, Nate, Nate, Lannon, with the Eastwood, bro. I'm sorry I was hearing you trying to convince yourself it was okay. You knew it wasn't. Ha, huh, bummer. Yeah, I was on the fence, right, in the video? Like, there was a fence in the background, and I was sitting on it, and then I fell over the fence. Where does that term even come from? Who's on a fence? Um, I find that offensive. It's too intense, like when you're camping, and then you get too tired, like when you're riding a bicycle. S stop. Just shut it off. Kill the stream. The dad, the dad puns are just like, oh my god. Uh, this, this guy is. Uh, oh, what's the new comments I'm seeing lately? This guy is really grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I'm just like calm. I'm just like passive. I'm just like I don't think you have to be. Oh man, I did. What did I do it in one of the recent videos where I did the super excited fake YouTuber? That stuff kills me. Just stop it. If I do it, just no. Stop. Don't do that. I can't. I can't be fake. I can't, can't, just can't. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, the Nate, 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 Nate. The um, wanted to like it, almost wanted to keep it because it looks really cool. And I kept, I had it hanging up over there, and I'd walk in the room and like, ah, oh, the thing looks awesome. And I'm like, oh yeah, but the things, I'll fix those. And I'm like, do I fix? Do I want to? Seven, eight hundred bucks. It's probably gonna. No, that's you know. Um. J.R. Baker, what style? Oh, it's 11 in Saskatoon. Saskatchewan, sorry, Stephen. Is that OG or zero grams? Is that what that is? Uh, Carlos likes the Squire stuff. Can't wrap my head around Epiphones, though. Bad experiences. Try the Inspired by Gibson stuff. It's, it's a level up for sure. Speaking of which, uh, they just released uh, Epiphone, and it's like in conjunction with the Gibson Custom Shop, it's a really weird thing. They just released an SG61. It comes with a hard shell case and the electronics are the Gibson pots, I think. Looks really cool. It's a two-piece body instead of the veneer that people hated on the SG standard. Yeah, it looks really interesting. Um, and oh, Jared Baker, what style or type of music do you listen to? I'm new here if it's already been asked. No, it's never been asked. I really like, uh, really into like classic rock. I like mainly British bands for some reason. Um, big into like alternative stuff like uh, uh, Radiohead, uh, Bowie. Uh, I don't know, so many, very eclectic. Uh, I listen to a lot of Beatles, uh, Manic Street Preachers, even like all over the place. Um, growing up, I was a big fan of Ozzy Osbourne and, uh, you know, all over the place. Uh, Andrew, are you able to tra time travel from your studio? Um, I'd have to check. I gotta look at that. Actually, I'm time traveling right now. Now I'm in the future. Now I'm now I'm in the pre now I'm in the past. Now I'm in the present. Mark the shark. Um, Kiki, I think that's how you saying. Can you play harmonica or some other instrument? I can barely play guitar. No, I used to play the clarinet, and that's not a joke. Grade seven, eight. I was in a band in, in school, uh, clarinet. So I probably, the answer is probably no. <laughs> Dave L. Hey, Landon, have you developed any preference between the two Princeton amps? One for clean, one for higher gain? Um, not yet. You know what? I really got to do an AB. I think, yeah, I haven't really, no, I haven't done enough AB yet. I've been like doing stereo wet dry mixes and stuff, but, uh, they're pretty loud. Like, um, I can't turn them up crazy loud in this room without killing my ears. And then I have to put in earplugs. Sorry, excuse me. I'm, I'm drinking water and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I gotta do more work on that. That'll be a video in the future for sure. Um, 
message out there. Great question, Dave. I don't know. The question was fences hurt. It's very offensive. Broadcaster. There was a broadcaster. Mark the shark. Okay. Uh, I will buy Affinity Telecaster in March. Do terrific videos. Cool. Check out the new ones. Yeah. Um, Silver Bushman. I got a guitar question about FedEx damaged. The volume pot is shot and the neck has two hairline cracks. Looks like in fish. Any advance on this? The cell saying, what? <laughs> what? Am I reading? Your guitar was damaged by FedEx? Uh, and they're saying it was mint when shipped? Well, then I think, I don't know. I, I, I need more information. I don't have enough information from that to know what to say. Like you didn't who who did you send, who did you buy used or from a new store or something? I don't know. Um, Dougal Dog, do you think you'd ever buy a relic guitar? Ever is a long time. I know. Um, I can't see myself very doing so. Probably not because they're really expensive. Uh, Strings has family in Lompoc. I don't know where that is. Hairline cracks are around the neck on the body. Yeah, that's pretty common. That I mean, I've seen it a lot. That can happen from from a number of things. Temperature changes um, could have happened when they installed it. Like if it's a bolt-on, I'm guessing. I, what kind of guitar was it? Silver Bushman. Uh, I didn't even say what kind of guitar it is. So I don't know. Um, oh, Keen. I like Keen. Yeah. Do you Keen songs? I do. I do Keen songs. I like Keen songs. A lot of British stuff. The new Epi SG is the same process they, they did with the 59 Les Paul Burst they did last year. Oh, did they do one of those too? Cool. Happy landing at the end of Princeton Tweed Vid. The last amp you'll ever need. See, in the, I, I made sure I was typing that properly. The last amp you'll ever need versus the last amp you need, which is, uh, who was it? Marty Guitar had a video. I made fun of the thumbnail because it said the last pedal you need i'm like does he know what he's saying he's saying you, you don't need this pedal <laughs> right but uh, nobody else got the joke so then i just went and cried about it happy christmas from chris jennison thanks you too um anti it would be better if eastwood just sold those awesome bodies without all the horrible electronics if they did, that'd probably be an issue too, because I don't think any of the stuff's standard size. So what would you what would you put on it, right? Yeah. Live in the now, man. Silver Bushman. Only the now. Live in the now. Um Jason's talking about kangaroo uh stuff. Uh what's the one telly you would absolutely recommend under a thousand? Canadian? I'd say player telly for sure. Cause they're like, they're just like thousand bucks now, right? Nine ninety nine or something. Yeah, they're solid. Uh, Carlos owned a gold top Stormbird P nineties were hot, good quality for the price, but got rid of it last year. Baseball bat for a neck. Just bought a Jazzmaster. Sweet. There you go. Don't be offset about it. No past, no future. Is only what you make. Um. Fate is what you make of the Terminator thing. Why not just call Custom Epi a Gibson? Blurring the lines isn't really in their interest. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know the deals. Uh, Smiths, not so much. Alan Jackman, not really a big fan of the Smiths. Um, that's Morrissey, right? Uh, yeah. Like if I brought up... Uh, oh, I'm a huge fan of uh, George Harrison. Um let me bring up my library that I've been listening to lately. Recent activity. Albums. Oh, it's not in any order. That's weird. Why is it showing that? Um, yeah, Radiohead, Beatles. Yeah. Ah, it's a big mix. Changes over time too, right? Sorry. Uh, the cracks are in the fit. Finish on bay. That's, I don't know what that means. I can't play headless. It's just wrong. I can't either. I don't think I'd ever get a headless guitar. 
I just yeah, I just don't I just don't can't. Um David's taking off. He's house hunting. Cool. Good luck. It's uh buying a house and moving, that's the like the most stressful thing in the world. Sorry, I didn't mean to bum you down, bum you out, but do you like pavement? I prefer gravel. No, um the band pavement, I don't remember them. I know the name. It's probably a nineties alternative. Uh, go house hunting. Yeah, told me mint. Oh, Silver Bushman. He told me it was mint one day shipping. It was 2013 standard Telecaster. Okay, uh, I don't know what to suggest. Like, where did you buy it from Reverb or something? Like, I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I would try to send it back. Yeah. If it got damaged with FedEx, then you got to contact FedEx, and hopefully there's insurance on it. I don't know. This is why I hate shipping stuff. I don't, I don't like dealing with this stuff. Number one reason I, I don't sell stuff on Reverb is because of that kind of stuff. Dealing with it. Jordan, you have guitars you don't need. I need one. I I need them all. Sorry. It's a need. Like If I don't have them all, I can't breathe. Of the Epiphones you've recently acquired and currently still have, in your opinion, would you rank them in order? Okay. Um, how many do I have? Two. I'd rank in terms of what though, like quality, I guess the the modern Les Paul number one and the casino number two. Uh, Love from Malaysia from Jordan. Smack daddy rabbit. Do we still like the new X mighty light amp? Uh, I don't have it. I sold it a couple of years ago. Pretty cool though. Future Landon has already timestamped this. <laughs> Even the lamp you are about to knock over. What lamp? The Matrix has you, Neo. One sec here. I think we're gonna been going over an hour. Um I'm gonna wrap it up, finish up these questions here and then wrap it up in a couple of minutes. Literally, like a Christmas present. Merry Christmas. Wrap it up. Um, Picked up a new 59 Epiphone LP. Good guitar, but the frets needed a little work. Oh, okay. I didn't experience that on mine. Mine were pretty good. Player Telly, best bang for the buck. And pickups sound great. Yeah, I would not change the pickups in a Player Telly. I had the Butterscotch one. Uh, John just dropped the phone, dropped the mic, got to head out. Take care. Happy new year. Uh, Gary, have you tried boss Katana artist? No, I haven't. Um, Dave, did you see the new video they just made for my sweet Lord? Yeah, I watched the premiere. I thought it was weird. I liked that some people were in it, but it didn't really have a point. Um, I did a cover of my sweet Lord. It's on my YouTube channel. It actually got a copyright. Uh, it got blocked. Not blocked. No. It got a copyright claim. It's still up. If you search for My Sweet Lord on my channel, I did a cheesy cover. I guess it was good enough that it got, it got uh, tracked. This is like five years ago. Uh, Affinity Telecaster Deluxe or Bullet Mustang? Oh, that's a good question. They're totally different. Um, do you want humbuckers or do you want... Oh, they're both humbuckers. Do you like a shorter guitar? It depends. Yeah, they're... I can't really say. Um, yeah. <laughs> Marky the Sharky. Any, any, any way you could reposition your mic so we can see your mouth? That's what I said. I can, I can go and re-edit this after. If I do, you're not going to hear me as well. If I go like that. It's very, very like, if I just even go here, it's very, it's made for singing, right? Uh, maybe I need multicam next time. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. It's an enjoyable sickness. Okay, I am going to, oh, Bill, how's it going? 
I'm always late. I was just watching the airline video. Yeah, it kind of crashed at the end there, right? You probably didn't uh, see any of this. Then uh, I'm, I've decided I'm going to ask for a return, a refund for that one. I was kind of back and forth about it, but yeah. Um, Boris, no, the cover isn't blocked. If you're talking about My Sweet Lord, it's not blocked. It's uh, It's copyright claimed, so George Harrison's recording label or whatever publisher or whatever they they get the it's shared actually it's a shared thing i don't even want to share it it's pretty i'm i'm not really proud of it it's not really my best but uh um yeah kiki what is one guitar you want but haven't bought yet uh george harrison rosewood telecaster that one So we go. Don's taking off. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one too. So I will wish, yeah, wish everyone Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever celebrations, or if you just it's a holiday, whatever you know, all this stuff. Have a good one. Uh, I have one video scheduled for December 27th. It's the Mustang Micro. It's like a demo. It's not a review. I don't think it's a review. I can't remember. It's more like a hey, check this out, and I can use it to do something cool. And make a, I record a song on it. And then that's all I got planned until the end of the year. I don't really have anything else. So there we go. And uh, yeah, so let's wrap this up. I got almost 100 people now. Do I, do I kill it now? Or what do you guys say? Does anybody want to go for another 10 minutes? I just said I was going to end it. I'm so, I'm on the fence. So offensive. Trazinator, take care. Yeah, I'll stick to my guns. I stayed that an hour, so I said an hour. There we go. Mary, Mary's happy, happies, happy Doug and Bob day. There you go. Take off, eh? Okay, yeah, I, I will end it. I, I think everybody can. And if you just, if you're watching this on the replay, if you had any questions that I didn't get to, just uh, let me know in the comments. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. We're clicking. Good night.